human population suffers from a wide range of diseases. The incidence of cancer is increasing and affecting large portions of developed and developing countries. Positron Emission Tomography, or PET, is currently one of the preferred diagnostic tools in cancer research. It is a non-invasive imaging procedure that produces three-dimensional images of the body by detecting gamma rays from positron emission. Medical professionals in the field of cardiology, urology and oncology have been using PET to assess metabolism for evaluation of cancer, heart and brain disorders. The history of PET dates back to before the invention of CT when Ernest O. Lawrence in 1930 invented the cyclotron, which is used to generate positron emission modules. The first PET scan of a human was reported in 1978. Advancement has been made in the integration of PET with other imaging modalities, which will help in increasing the specificity of PET. Recently, PET is being combined with magnetic resonance imaging, which has the highest contrast resolution and is thought to be useful for studying the human brain more proficiently. Kim is a highly ambitious woman. She is working as a researcher and is very brilliant and hardworking. Kim's life changed when she started to have blurred vision and recurrent episodes of headaches and vomiting. With every passing day, her symptoms became worse, along with some behavioural changes. In view of her condition, she visited a general practitioner. The doctor advised her to get a brain PET MRI. Torku PET Centre is a state-of-the-art PET facility. The centre was established in 1970 and it received national status in 1996. Kim is now visiting a PET specialist. There are different, several different methods that you can, we can see inside your brain. Mm -hmm. And now, with your symptoms, it seems that there is something wrong. Mm -hmm. There might be something in your brain. We are just looking where in the brain that might be. We are having this kind of scanners. Mm -hmm. They might be like CT scanners for anatomy or MR scanners with anatomy. But then we just would like to see or pick up some small mm -hmm. metabolic changes in your brain. So you will be lying down mm -hmm. very calmly and then we will put and you will go through mm -hmm. uh, port and mm -hmm. then we rotate you back to the pet part mm -hmm. and then we look the functional image of your brain with the pet part. After the pet MRI, the treatment of Kim will be decided by an oncologist. Her results have arrived and she is meeting with an oncologist who will explain her results. So you heard already that uh, we need to give you radiation to control this tumour. And uh, I'm happy to say that this is not cancer, so that's a very good thing. So you're not going to die because of this tumour. But if we don't treat it, uh, you, will, you will have some health problems, especially your vision may be in danger. So it's better to treat it now when it's still small and we can treat, treat it uh, without causing you too much side effects. I have a CT scan here and it shows you your tumor. I can show you with a pen, you can see that it's very close to your left eye and this is the optic nerve which goes here so the tumor is almost in contact with the optic nerve. Now we start the treatment and it will take uh, six weeks so you need to come every day, every weekday here, Monday to Friday here to get your treatment. It takes only 15 minutes and uh, we are going to fix your head to the table so you are not able to move your head during treatment. We have a monitor so we can watch you and if you just have a problem you just need to say something but uh, you must uh, lie there quiet because this is a very focused beam which we are using and you're not going to lose your hair and you may have some headache but it's really mild so if you have a headache you can just take a painkiller and it's, it, it's going to be okay. Kim's treatment is over and she has been cured of the brain tumour. The early detection of cancer with the help of PET-MRI increases her chances of survival from this disease. <laughs>